Hi friends, welcome back to TM Education. Friends, in this video, we are solving problem on matrices. Given problem is investigate for what values of small a and small b equations x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 4, x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 5, x plus 3y plus az is equal to b have no solution, unique solution, infinite solutions. Okay friends, by the observation, we can say these equations are said to be system of linear equations. And moreover, what is the right side here you have? 4. Here, 5. Here, it is a B. So, at least one non-zero element is there in right side. So, you can say this is system of non-homogeneous linear equations. Okay. How to solve these type of the problems? Now, first we are going to discuss. Friends, to solve the system of non-homogeneous equations, first we have to write a the system of uh, linear equations in the form of ax is equal to b. Okay. Later we have to write a uh, augmented matrix. Augmented matrix we are denoting with the uh, a, b. Okay friends. Now we have to apply elementary row operations on this a, b and it should be converted into echelon form. After getting echelon form like nothing but it should be a which form upper triangular matrix. After getting a upper triangular matrix, then we have to find out the rank of A and rank of AB. How can you say rank of A and rank of AB in the echelon form? The number of non-zero rows is equal to rank of A. And number of non-zero rows in AB is called rank of B. If rank of A and rank of AB, if rank of A not is equal to rank of AB, then you can say the system has no solution. Then the system has no solution. Whenever rank of A and rank of AB both are equal. Suppose both are equal then you can say this rank is smaller. This R is equal to number of unknowns. Number of unknowns means this is unknown vector. X is a, if you have like X, Y, Z then you can say here N is equal to 3. Number of unknowns are 3. If this is equal to rank of the matrix then in this case you have a unique solution. In this case you have a unique solution. If suppose R is less than N, suppose rank is equal to 2, number of unknowns are 3, then you can say R is less than N. In this case the system has infinite solutions. Okay friends, now coming to the problem. Now I am writing the system of linear equations in matrix notation that is uh, in the form of A x is equal to B, where A is a coefficient matrix. Friends, here you observe, we have to write first x. What is the x here? Unknown matrix or variable matrix. Okay. Here the variable matrix we have. How many variables are there? Unknowns are there. See in the first equation, x, y, z. Second equation, x, y, z. Third equation also, x, y, z. So, this is called a unknown matrix or variable matrix. Now, we have to write the matrix A. It is a coefficient matrix. So, write down x quotient is what? 1. First equation. Y quotient is 2. Z quotient is Next, the second equation, what is the x quotient? 1. Second, uh, y quotient is 3. And z quotient is 4. Next, you write down uh, the third row, quotients of third equations, x, y, z. Okay. Now, x quotient is 1. Y quotient is 3. Z quotient is A, which is equal to B. B is called constant matrix. What do you have a right side? Uh, 4. Here, you have a 5. And this is 3. Okay, friends. Now, this one we are converted a given system of linear equations into matrix form. Now, what we have to do? We have to write the augmented matrix A, B. Nothing but we have to write A and B combined in a one matrix. Okay, friends. This is the augmented matrix A, B. Now, what we have to do? We have to find out the rank of A and rank of A, B. For this, we have to convert the augmented matrix into echelon form. So, first we are applying elementary operations on this augmented matrix A, B. First round of the first diagonal element. What we have here, the first diagonal element is, luckily we have a unit. Okay. Now by using this one, we have to make the below the diagonal elements are 0. For that we are applying R2 tends to R2 minus R1 and R3 tends to R3 minus R1. Friends, you remember you can do R3 minus R1 or else you can do R3 minus R2 also. It's not an issue. Okay. Now I am doing R3 minus R2 because here 1 minus 1 0, 3 minus 3 0. Due to that reason only I am doing directly R3 minus R2. You can do R3 minus R1. But what will happen? One more 
four steps would be added extra. Okay. Now, if I am applying these two operations, I am applying any operation on row one. No. So write down as this one, two, three, four. In the second row, R two minus R two. So write down here one minus one, zero. Next three minus two is one. Four minus three is one. Next five minus four is one. Now what we have to do? R three minus R two. We have to do. Okay. R three minus R two. Now one minus one zero. Next three minus three zero. A minus four. A minus four. B minus five. That's it. Okay, friends. Now we observe. First diagonal element is one. You have below the diagonal element is zero. Second diagonal element is you have one below the diagonal element is zero. So what is the third one? You have A minus. Friends, now we are verifying. Is it in Eklan form or not? Eklan form first condition is if there are any zero roots that should be below the non-zero. Is there any zero row? Check it here. This is non-zero row. This is also non-zero row. This is we can't say it is a zero row or non-zero row. If a is equal to four, b is equal to five, this will be a zero row. If a not is equal to four, this is a non-zero row. Okay, anyhow. Next second condition what? The number of zeros before the first non-zero element. The number of zeros before the first non-zero element it provides is in increasing order. Here have you any zero rows? Any zeros before the non-zero element? No. Here you have one zero. Next year you have two zeros. Now this is converted into upper triangular matrix. You can say this is an Eklan form. So we can find out rank of the matrix A. Friends, you remember this is up to this is A. Left part is A and included total is B. Now I am finding rank of A. First, what we have to verify is there any solution or not? First, I am checking no solution. When you can say no solution, if rank of A not is equal to rank of A B condition, rank of A not is Rank of A B condition. Okay, tell me how many number of non-zero rows you have? This is one. This is one, two. Next, if it is zero, what will happen, friends? Rank of A uh, is what? Rank of A I am checking. Up to this only be one. If this is one, this is two. If A minus four is equal to zero, if A minus four is equal to zero means A is equal to four. If A is equal to four, this will be what? Rank of A is two. Friends, I am checking. If A is equal to four, then rank of A is two. And B not is equal five. I am taking B not is equal five. If B not is equal five, what will happen? This is this is zero. This is zero. This is A is equal four. We are taking B not is equal five means uh, it may be one, two, three, whatever it may be, friends, which is not equal to. Then you can say rank is rank of A B is what? Three in this case. So rank of A B is equal to three. So you can say two is not is equal to three. Therefore, when you will get the no solution, if A is equal to four, comma B not is equal to five. This is the condition. Okay, friend. In this case only, you can say the system has no solution, right? Next, what we have? Unique solution. Unique solution means rank of A is equal to rank of A B, which is equal to number of unknowns. Okay, friends. Now you verify how many number of unknowns are there? X, Y, Z. So total number of unknowns are three. Now you have to take rank of A and rank of A B should be equal to what? Three. When you can say rank of A is three, means if the three number of non-zero rows, then you can say rank of A is three. Now this is a non-zero row. This is a non-zero row. When it will be a non-zero row if A not is equal to four. Okay, na nothing but if A minus four not is equal to zero, which is implies A not is equal to four. In this case, rank of A is equal to what? Three because number of non-zero rows are three. Now if B is equal to five, let it be. Even b is equal to five. What will happen? This is if b is equal to five, this is zero. What about this? Non-zero. This is already zero. This is zero. So in this case, if it is a non-zero, rank of a is rank of a is what? Three. Rank of a b. A b I want. This is non-zero. I am saying. For example, if I take in this value is equal to three. If I take in this value is three, then in this case it will be zero row or non-zero row? Non-zero row only. So in this case, b is equal to five or b not is equal to five. In this case, rank of a b is equal to what? So, the, what is the condition here? If a not is equal to four, then you can say the system has unique solution. Whatever it may be, b is a b belongs to any real number. Okay, friends, b is belongs to any real number. Okay. Next, what you required? Third condition is what we have infinite solutions. When we get to infinite solutions, it means if rank of a is equal to rank of a b. And which is equal to generally we are denoting with what smaller. This should be less than n. What is n here? 
n is the number of unknowns. How many number of unknowns are there? x, y, z. So n is equal to 3. If n is equal to 3, rank should be what? Less than 3. So what is the condition you have? Either 2 or 1 or 0. But from the from the augmented matrix, what you can say? Rank here, the number of non-zero rows, how many you have? You see? 1, 2. So obviously rank of A, B is 2. Okay, even if it is a non-zero, then you can say rank of A, B is 3. But here, the condition should be what? Less than 3. So you can check uh, whether it is 2 or less than 2. But obviously, based on this number of non-zero rows, rank you can say 2 only. This condition you have to take. In this case, R less than N. Okay, now what are the values? For what values you can get A and B? R is equal to 2. Means this should be equal to 0. This also should be is equal to 0. So in this case, A is equal to 4. B is equal to 5. So this is the condition. In this case, you can say the system has infinite solutions. Is it clear friends? Thank you for watching this video.